Hello YouTube. Okay, let's see where we are now. We did uh, a fair bit of work on this cavity filter. Uh, let's uh, bring this up here. This is the further to on the construction side. Uh, as you can see, this is the under part. This holds the uh, the bottom tube in. If you look at the first video, uh, constructed out. There was no. If I go back here, I haven't added the um, the BNC connectors yet on this. Uh, but the mechanical construction is just about done. This is how they need to be ignored. This screw here. This is a scrap piece of tube I used for measurements and so on. Uh, these are actually tapped M3 stainless steel. And this is how I did it. Um, the construction is really, really fiddly. It, uh, that's the actual length needed. This is prior to trimming. And obviously if it's cross here, down, and then the uh, small ring connector, M3 again, uh, really, really fiddly. Uh, it fits like so. Uh, this was how I worked out the dimensions that it needed to be in order to get about a 3mm gap here. It. Uh, it worked out not too bad actually. Um, putting it together was a bit. Um, well, it was really awkward because I got hands like me ducks. Uh, quite, quite a big chap. So here we go. But it passes through fine. Um, the tuning is not that bad. Um, typical my workshop. Um, but it, this was testing one through, <coughs> excuse me, making sure that it, uh, was actually feeding, excuse me a moment, <coughs> terrible cough, um, just uh, checking to see how we, it tuned out. Um, that's the pigtail for the second one. I didn't put the pigtail in there. Uh, I just left it uh, around a uh, quarter wavelength. Again, setting the uh, dimension up so that it fitted right. And that's how it was constructed. Okay. I'm going to take this down for a second uh, and we'll watch a little video for a moment and then I'll tell you my conclusions on this cavity filter ok I hope this works I've got the sound coming out of the um, earphone at the moment <coughs> that's completed I'm going to pause the video by you. Now then, what you've seen there is these are linked to two, separating the frequencies. Now I've got uh, a power meter here and a power meter on the other side. Feeding the signal in through a T piece, alright, so that um, I'm obviously receiving a signal, transmitting a signal. Now then, uh, there's a 7 megahertz split on this, and we get 7 point something else in the UK here, so here we go. One watt of RF, and there's a very slight, 
zero is there that's the movement on it this meter is quite sensitive um, that's the one watt there it's a very 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 this little item by here is a tunable cavity filter for UHF sorry it's not a cavity filter it's a tunable filter for V. Um, you can make them for UHF or VHF depending upon the turns inside two tunable capacitors and what I found was by placing this in, s in line with uh, between this cavity and that cavity made no difference but if I put it onto the input to this one it signal goes in here loops at the back and comes out this one if I placed it on its input here that is very very notchable it's, uh, it's quite notchable so I en instead of having two capacitors inside here um, I actually used two of these I made this one as a sample to try and it actually works uh, by placing that one in line here I still get one watt through it it's very 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 small amount of signal loss it's it's still reading one watt on the meter so uh, without all this in line feeding the signal straight in it's what it reads one watt so I'm still getting the same read in it so I take it there's no no very little loss because this is the way you set it up when you don't have a spectrum analyzer and I don't possess one um, so needs must uh, this is the way it works so we'll continue playing I did swap these meters over so that I they would try to eliminate any errors so they do work so that's that one so the conclusions are when you have not got a cavity filter sorry a spectrum analyzer and you want to tune a cavity filter um, it's very very difficult but you are looking to pass the maximum amount of RF signal through the cavities alright now then if you set them up so that it's on the frequency required feed it with this frequency required at a known RF level measured it on your meter then you can peek it in so that you get maximum signal output through it in theory in theory quote loosely you should end up with a fairly spot frequency the only thing you can't see with a, uh, as you would do with a spectrum analyzer is if these were capacitor tunable as well um, for the sharper band edge then yeah but these are not these are just simply straightforward cavity filters so there we go that's the second update on this one and thank you very much for your time 
and have a nice day um, wherever you are and that's part two completed uh, I will show the finished setup in a full in a, in a little while we I have not been very well so I've had lots and lots of problems and uh, construction and projects have taken a back door at the present time so there you go send threes and have a nice uh, 